landmark it's so absolutely beautiful city ancient buildings along with the modern it all blends so effortlessly so one match down and one point on the board for indonesia with anthony sinisuka winning his match first men's doubles up next dalfian and ardianto for indonesia against herji ting and Zhao haudong Indonesians Fajar Alfia and Mohamed Dorian Adianto. The World Championship bronze medalists at the last World Championships in Basel in 2019. But perhaps their best result so far was the silver medal a year prior to that at the Asian Games in Jakarta. pairing in international individual competition. Her Ji Ting and Zhao Hao Dong have played four matches in this campaign and because they haven't played international individual tournaments before that is not surprising. It is the first meeting between these two pairs. and I believe they've chosen the end which will be nearer to all of us as we all look down on the court during the rallies. So the Indonesian pair, well, they're a long established pair because they formed their partnership in 2014 at the Indonesian International Challenger event and they won that. Fajar Alfian is 25. Well, I actually had him down as 26 years of age, actually and number seven on the world ranking at the moment. Born in Bandung, which is West Java. They did spend a total of 30 weeks as world number fives. His partner, Mohamed Rian Adianto, is 26 years of age. There he is from Bandung in the Jakarta province which is where we had the World Junior Championships a few years ago. I think that was 2017, wasn't it, in Jakarta? It was, yes. So, uh, they have been rested twice in the campaign and not selected against Algeria or for the quarterfinal against Malaysia. They lost to the Chinese Taipei. The Olympic champions of Li Yang and Wang Chilin lost in three games, though. And uh, then in the semi final against Denmark, that was the uh, third point on the board for Indonesia. And when the home fans had their hearts broken because they beat Matthias Christiansen and Friedrich Sorgel in that fourth match of the tie. Her Ting is 23 years of age from Chowu in Fujian province and please don't pay any attention to that ranking of 1,159 because yeah. they've only played two matches last week in last week in the Suleiman Cup was two weeks ago now it's wasn't two it? weeks yes can't believe it how time flies two matches in Finland yeah. and they've played four matches here and of course the matches here don't come on to their world rankings until the next world rankings are run on Tuesday. His partner is 23 years of age, Joe Holdong. He's uh, just slightly uh, shorter than his partner, one centimetre shorter. And of course, uh, he's better known for playing with Han Chang Kai, who's recently retired. So they was uh, 
not selected against Tahiti. They lost against the Indian pair of Ranky Reddy and Shetty. They've had a very good tournament. They have. Yes, they played well. Pair, yeah. they? And then in the semi-final, they beat Hoki and Watanabe in three games. So, a good Ladies and gentlemen, the spheres of Latvia are on par. Represented by Mohamed Rian Ardianto and Fajar Elfian. And on my left, China, represented by Hu Yi Ting, Zhou and Zhou Ho Dong. China to serve, Zhou Ho Dong to Mohamed Rian Ardianto. Love all. Play. So the second match of the Thomas Cup final gets underway. The Indonesian pair of Alfian and Adianto nearest to us against Herji Ting and Zhao Hao Dong. Definitely. Oh, look at that defence. Oh, the error in the end from Ardianto. And he has pulled up from Germany. Oh, the service judge for this one. Yeah. Alfian and Ardianto had a slow start yesterday against the two Danes. Um, Christiansen and Solgang, but as and when things were starting to go right, then there was just a formality. They really got into it and the Danes had no answers. So I'm, I'm actually quite curious to see how the start is going for the two Indonesians of this one. More or less pressure today than there was yesterday when they were playing the fourth match against Denmark at uh, second men's doubles. Uh, they're, they're much more pressure today in terms of they need to play better quality. Um, the thing is that uh, this Chinese pair in my book is better than Christiansen and Sogan. So they need to play better. Um, but the pressure yesterday in terms of um, the psychology, that was quite huge. Had, had Christie not won that match against the Anna Santos, it could have been gone yeah. all the way to the wire. Yeah. So um, I think they were quite nervous. But today, I think they're happy that Ginting won the first. Yeah. Give them a, some comfort. Oh, good defense, Malfian. sitting here thinking that in the Indonesian pair it would be Alianza being nervous, in the Chinese pair it would be So Hao Dong. He would be the one that get nervous towards the end of the match. Oh, how did you get that one back? That is <laughs> extraordinary. <laughs> so 
Sasak Shashaw left and Zhao Hadong just had to guess. He just had a swing at it. He guessed correctly. So he did. Is on Adi Anzum. He's not responding well for the time being. And we're left. the Sudaman Cup they did. against Japan, against Hoki and Kobayashi, won in three games, and I yes. think that was that important. was very, very important. And it's good for their self-confidence. Yeah. Oh, that's oh my nice. goodness. Yeah. Well, that's a wild one. But just look at the rush from Hoji Ting, how he's moving up on the court. That is awesome. He's so quick. beautiful drop shot and this is the problem with pairs that don't normally play together there's a little uncertainty with the shots down the center of the court yeah, who, who takes what yeah who to take it Lines you can see on both of the bits of perspex, and the service judge has to try and line up those two black lines. And that should give the service judge the height of 1.15 meters under which the shuttle must be struck. Now he looks very awkward movement there, Zhao Haldon. Peculiar. Oh. Once again, Ho Chi Ting, extremely quick. So he has been playing a lot of mixed doubles, Ho Chi Ting. But don't you think chances are that he will move into men's doubles more permanently? Well, I noticed from the Denmark Open next week, uh, Du Huer, his former mixed doubles partner, uh, is not playing with him. She's got a new partner, mixed got doubles a new, partner. new partner, yeah. plus uh, Du Huer is also into the women's doubles. Thing. Yeah. So I think they will use uh, her cheating for, for doubles, even doubles, in the future. Oh yes, that's good play. From Alfie well, on a run of four straight points, 
in an Indonesian pair go to the mid-game interval with the advantage. Nine minutes into the match. Usually a lot, lot calmer. <laughs> Two words I understood. Straight and communication. <laughs> In her G Ting's racket. Yeah. And that's great awareness by the Indonesians because they must have realised that. Yeah, they were just waiting to get to her G Ting either side by side or to the back of the court. And as soon as he was standing like that, then play him. Save. Uh, there's too much attacking play at the moment from the Indonesians. Look at that behind the back. But it appears, Morton, as if the Indonesians are doing exactly what they did yesterday. A little bit nervous at the start, yeah. and now they're in to their rhythm. Yeah. And because... Alfian is playing extremely well. Yeah. because this is now seven straight points. And that back run comes to an end. traffic at the moment. Yeah. Very tight. Nine of the last ten points to Indonesia. Oh, yeah, that's his second service error. He's been faulting as well. So three points gifted away on Fajar Alfian sir. But his flick zone is really, really good. 
yesterday against the Danes, he scored, I don't know how many points, just on the fix there. Catching the Danes off balance and then taking from there. Yeah. is such a hard hitter you, you, you have to sort of backtrack a little bit because if the big smash is coming you need time to react and of course that's opening up for these uh, drop shot up front that's good play by Adianto keeping the attack very nicely all the time keep the control Would you believe it? That came off the frame of the racket. It may it even have come off the shaft of the racket. earlier today I said I think this pair is by far the best Indonesian pair right now. Yeah. Game point opportunities. Well the first one not the best of drive serves. And so on. Oh. There's no <laughs> need. There's, There's no, no need. need to challenge. <laughs> 21-12 confirms the umpire. Yes, that, I think the raised arm from the Indonesians was to indicate that it was long, but they need to be careful with that because it can be interpreted as a challenge. 15 minutes for the open game, 21-12, and when you consider they were 7-8 down, that was a remarkable scoreline. Oh, he's looking much calmer now, isn't he, Gary? <laughs> he's feeling better. But for fans out there that maybe don't understand how important it is, this is for Indonesia, you can't stress how much the Thomas Cobb is meaning to the nation of Indonesia. Yeah. We're looking to win their 14th Thomas Cup today in their 20th final. 19 long years ago since they lifted the trophy. That was in Guangzhou in 2002. Yes. Sorry, Morton, sorry to mention that. <laughs> the Danes. Did they lose it? <laughs> I don't know. I thought that your reaction must be that they no, beat no, no, Denmark. No, no, I'm not sure. I'm not they, sure. They beat. They I just actually remember. came from one two down in the final to beat Malaysia. It was Malaysia in 2002. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Denmark lost three love to Indonesia in the semi-final stage that year. I was just surprised that uh, when I was looking up and things that Indonesia, of course, had won so many times, but not since 2002. Yeah, it's a long time, isn't it? It is. Second game, level play. What has the Chinese pair got to do here, Morton, to try and turn this around? 
I will start putting as much pressure as I can on Adianto. Uh, I think Alfian is playing extremely well. But see that attacking the smash on Adianto, I would, if I could, direct as much pressure as possible towards Adianto. Then I would not go into all these flat exchanges. I know the Chinese player is also very good in flat, but they're losing too many. So I, they, they need to lay off, they need to block a bit more. They need to make sure that uh, when the Indonesians are playing these flat shots, it's from a, a position perhaps a little bit too low. Mm, but, but look at, look at Alfred, he's just getting everything back. Oh, oh that's a look good at that defense. What a run. What a run. Oh, there was too big a swing from Zhao Hao Dong at the front of the court. You only need a short, sharp motion of the racket head to make the kill from the front court area. And if the bigger the swing, the better your timing's got to be. 34 shots. And on top of that, I would say, Elon, pressure on the serve on Alfian. I think he's flicking a lot, so I would possibly be standing back a little bit. This time it was Alianto flicking. But they do actually flick quite a lot yeah. in their services. Be prepared for that, add on the pressure. Definitely the weaker link in that double's combination. each other in the final of the World two Juniors. World Juniors mixed doubles, yeah. <laughs> mixed doubles. Mixed doubles. players now. Really playing well. All out attack. And that was a good variation. We talked about that a moment ago about yeah. how they need to take pace off. Take again. pace off and it's really good. The problem for the Chinese is that uh, when Sol Ho Dong is at the front, as you pointed out, he's making too many mistakes. But it's mainly from the front of the court. And this time then Ho Jin did it. Oh, 
That was quick forward that time from Zhao Hardong. Rotational skills there from uh, the two Indonesians. Really textbook, fantastic to watch. When you use the rotational play like that, it's almost like you're playing side to attack, isn't it? Because you, you're almost saying, well, if, you, if the lift comes cross court, I'm going out and I will keep on the attack of that. At times, does that leave a bit of a gap at the front of the court? Yes. But you have to be very, very good utilising that fact. It's not an easy, easy one to play that block shot. But yes, I think you are opening up gaps at the front of the court. But it's a good thing to share the workload from the back. From the back. Keep on the attack. Exactly. That means a lot because otherwise it just becomes too static. the same, mm. whether we will have a similar run of points. The answer is no, we won't. <laughs> yes, that was quick. Very, yeah. very short, that lift from Aldon. Yeah, just watch where um, uh, Adianto's feet are. Yeah, it's way yeah. in the big box. Yeah. <laughs> 
Det är stämt. Så det är en to be a game and up at the mid-game interval of the second game. I'm sure we will play its part. Oh, I think Karen may get into a little bit of trouble. Yeah, oh, he's put his mask on now. I was going to say he's talking about his mask on. Well, the Chinese coach trying to impart so much information to his players, he overstayed his welcome. Got told to get back to his coaching yeah. chair by the umpire. Get back on your chair. the enormity yeah. of this situation yeah. and they're beginning to tighten up yes me too they need uh, a run of a few points to, to settle yeah good serving by Hardon yeah that's nice from Althea Especially from Alfian because he is so steady in his defence. Oh, that wasn't the best of serves. No. And he didn't attack it. That's perhaps another side of nerves. Oh, brilliant. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Badminton. What a rally. Probably the longest rally of the match as well. Oh, look at the pace. There. It was the half smash that did the damage. Ho Ju Ting knew he had to impart a bit of power himself on his defensive shot and he didn't time it correctly. 54 shots 
I thought it was the longest rally so far. Well, we had rallies. I don't know whether you were able to watch any of it. Morton in the Uber Cup final, 75 shot rallies. I had uh, one rally. It was 102 shots. Wow. Was that in a Uber Cup match or a nope. Tom's Cup match? I'm quite sure it was Gideon and Sukumoyo. Wow. So what are you saying? Come on, boys. Here, you're not you're not making it long enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just because you asked me. <laughs> it was just because of that. Thirteen all. That's Great a flick serve. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, both left it for the other. But there shouldn't be any misunderstanding. I, in, in my book, it's her cheating. It's just got to take it. He's got to take that initiative, the control, get the net, and get Salho Dong to do all the smashing from the back as much as possible. That's by far the best formation for the two Chinese players. So every time there is this 50-50, I think Ho Chi Ting just take it and then move forward. And move forward, yeah. yeah. Like there. Exactly. Has to go for it all the time. Then of course he will make some mistakes, but I think that's the best chance they have. Um, he who dares wins. Yes. Dare to do it. Well, there's no doubt in my mind, Morton, that nerves are beginning to play a part when you can hold their nerves together. It's the slow, slow conditions here. Yeah. Still generate that kind of power. 16 all. The pair that can take two points in a row, having a good chance. Oh, yes, calmly playing it into the open space for Ja Alfia. String gone. Sounded like a string gone in Hergy Ting. 
scratch it, but I maybe not. Was, I think it was just a mistake, I think okay. it came off the frame. Okay. But this is three straight points now for the Indonesians. What we have talked about earlier is dipping below the tape, and there it's much more difficult to play good shots from. Nice block on that return of surf. This is so important, this rally. Oh, lucky neck cord. The backhand from Ardianto. My goodness, that was good. Flat over the net, the backhand drive straight down the line. And it's not an easy shot to play. Two point advantage. Two points from winning this men's doubles and giving Indonesia a two love lead in the Thomas Cup final. It's match point opportunities. Three opportunities for Indonesia. Five of the last six points to Alfian and Arianto from 15 16 adrift to 20 17 up. First match point. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how to save a match point. <laughs> but they need to save another two. Well, the umpire not allowing the Indonesians to go and tell down much good umpiring. Still match point for Indonesia. Oh, Nick called there as well. Oh, out of balance, heard you think. Watch. Oh, he didn't thump it. No. Well, well, Perry on the, on the bench, you sort of looking back, you're looking at the scores. Oh, we've got one more. I, I could see, you know, he's thinking, <laughs> oh, we've got one more. All well, this time, the players are allowed to tell down a little smile between the two Indonesians. Two match points have come and gone. Just one more remains before we have to go to extra points. Will it be third time, Lucky? Yeah, he's all fidgety, isn't he? <laughs> Perry, to calm down. <laughs> Drive serve. I think so too. No. no. They've done it on their third match point. Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Dorian Adianto. 21 12, 21 19. The margin of the victory over Herji Ting and Zhao Haodong. 43 minutes in total. And they have delivered when the pressure was on. Playing at first men's doubles. And yes, coach. Absolutely delighted. And so to the players. There is confirmation of the scoreline. 21-12, 21-19 in 43 minutes. And more importantly, that gives Indonesia a two-love lead in this Thomas Cup final. Well, 
the Indonesian fans, you can hear them, they're in fine voice. 21, 12, 21, 19. Well, I thought at the end they were getting a little bit of the jitters on their first two match point opportunities. But they saw it through on their third opportunity. And they have given Indonesia uh, two love leads in the Thomas Cup final. This is the match point, the third match point opportunity. The fast flat exchanges. And the error from her Ting. Yeah, neither pair wanting to lift the shuttle, the drives. And the Indonesians will Alfian overcome with emotion. Yeah. The flag on the shirts, the desire to show how much it means for their country and even more to win for their country. Well, two love up for Indonesia and we look forward to the second ranked men's singles. Jonathan Christie is up against Li Shi Fang for China. So if you're a badminton fan, this is an absolute must for you. The new badminton app, Badminton For You. You can follow all the stars, you can follow the results. There's links to all of the social media and it's all just a touch away. So to love Indonesia lead China in the final of the 31st Thomas Cup. Next match is the second men's singles. It's Jonathan Christie for Indonesia up against Li Shifeng for China. Well, Jonathan Christie knows about